What's up, everybody, and welcome back to quite a frigid evening here at Washington Dulles International Airport. Today, we'll be flying over to Zurich with United Airlines in their economy class. Or, in particular, the seat that I have specifically is an economy plus seat, which you can book for pay, or if you have United status, you can select it for free. Now, United departs out of the dreadful terminal C and D here at Dulles, and when I say dreadful, I mean it reminds me of an old radio shack. But we'll be making a stop at Terminal A first because there's quite a few things that I like to see here before we get to our flight. The terminal itself is quite a nice space and there's really cool wide body aircraft. But one of the main reasons we're at Terminal A is so that we can use what is personally my favorite lounge at this airport. The Turkish Airlines lounge is accessible by Starlands Gold members as well as I think Priority Pass during most hours. The views from the lounge are quite nice, and also the lounge has some of the best lounge food I've had in any lounge in North America. With all that said, this video really isn't about the lounge, so after a quick drink, some food, and a little bit of holiday cheer, it's time to head over to the dreadful building that United is proud to call their hub. There's two ways that you can get from the A concourse over to the C and D concourse. The most practical way is by train, but if you're crazy enough, you can make the walk. By the time I had arrived at my gate, boarding had already begun. United's boarding process can be quite complicated if you're seeing it for the first time, so I'll try and break it down and make it simple. Most of economy will be boarding in groups 3 through 5 depending on where you sit and whether you have a basic economy ticket or not. If you hold any kind of United or Star Alliance status, you'll most likely be in groups 1 or 2. Depending on if you have Star Alliance Gold, you'll be in group 1, otherwise group 2. In my particular case, I had Platinum status with United, which translates over to Group 1. This also translates to Star Alliance Gold, which, if you had a frequent flyer program from a Star Alliance partner and you had Star Alliance Gold, you would also be boarding in Group 1. I'm not sure if that was by design, but it's definitely convenient. Our aircraft today is a Boeing 767, which, as old as it is, is definitely one of the more comfortable planes in the sky. Economy class still boasts a regular 232 layout, which I would say is probably the most cozy way to fly. Boeing 787s and 777s are 333 and 343, which definitely means a lot more tightness for window or middle seat people, but in the case of the 767, that simply isn't a problem. The bulkhead is one of my favorite places to sit simply because of the extra legroom you get and how easy it is to get up without distracting your neighbor. As far as amenities go, you get one of those pillows that you can kind of tear in the middle and use it as a neck pillow. It's not exactly my favorite design, but still decently usable. And you also get a blanket that's relatively thin, but keeps you warm enough on this flight. In the unlikely event oxygen is needed on tonight's flight, to remove any face coverings before putting on your oxygen mask. If you are seated in an exit row, we encourage you to open the window shade for taxi and take off. We will be dimming the cabin lights so that you can rest. Please buckle your seatbelt over your blanket and clothing so that we can see it whenever we come to the cabin. If you need anything, just press your call button. Thanks again for flying with us. I'll be back with more details about tonight's flight once we are in the air. Last please complete passage checks and be seated.
After what seemed to be a tumultuous start to our flight, the IFE continued the problems. What I consider to be usually one of the most responsive entertainment systems in the sky, the IFE was being rather glitchy with me today, but I promise normally it's really good. On pretty much every other seat on this plane, the tray table simply comes down from the seat in front of you. It's only because it's the bulkhead seat the tray table comes out of the armrest. And after the turbulence finally subsided, the crew were able to start their service. First round was drinks and some pretzels, and I went with the classic sparkling water. Shortly after the first round of service, some of the crew offered to reset my entertainment system, which was really kind of them. And surely enough, within a few minutes, after restarting, my system was up and running and fully responsive. Finally, about two hours after departure, we finally got to get to our main meal. The options were non-veg and vegetarian, and I went for the chicken option. Now, one thing that I always find funny is that for a country that serves excessively large portions, the airlines do the opposite. The food tray was actually quite small. But for what it's worth, even though the main course looked like it was just thrown together, the chicken was good and the quinoa was also quite good. Overall, an enjoyable, tasty meal. Some of the other things on the tray included an excessively sweet milk cookie, a bread that was as hard as a grenade, and a salad that's pretty much the same dry rubber that United's always been serving. The meal was okay for what it's worth, but nothing special. And shortly after that, the tray tables were collected and the lights were shut. After a couple hours of sleeping, the crew came around with breakfast and the size of this thing wasn't even the most disappointing part. It was a complete sugar bomb and I could not stomach eating more than a couple bites. For the rest of the flight, we were pretty much just flying over small villages in France and watching the sky slowly get more and more light as we approached Zurich. As far as the whole flight goes, United gets the job done. Comfort is the first most important thing to me and the 767 is one of the most comfortable ways to fly. Doesn't matter which cabin you're in, it's all comfortable. But with that said, the food is just okay. The portions were not that great and the quality was relatively cheap, but you get what you get for economy. And to be completely honest, the best part of this flight is what you're about to see. It was a complete winter wonderland as we were arriving into Zurich, so I really hope you enjoyed those views at least.